Hi, we're from Specialist Nutrition. We would like to thank Cork Holstein Friesian Club. We're here today to do a video on quality silage making. Uh, my name is Rachel McCarthy. And my name is Pat Coakley. This is an important time of year as first cut silage is the foundation of the farmer's feed programme for the winter. There are a number of key parameters that we look at when making silage in order to maximise what is coming from the field into the clamp. In order to look at this properly, we offer a pre-cut testing service which will allow farmers to make a clear cut decision when to cut silage. In conjunction with Lalum and Lalum Nutrition, they advise six parameters to into making quality silage. Number one, dry matter. Ideal range at cutting, 18% dry matter. Wilting is advisable, but no longer than 24 hours, as dry matter and nutrient losses will occur in the field from there on. Number two, protein. Protein is right on 16%. Buffer the silage against rapid drop in pH. Number three, ME. As the crop matures, it loses energy. With the pre-cut test, we would like to keep that above 11.5 ME. Number four, sugars. Sugars need to be greater than 3% fresh weight for a natural fermentation. Number five, NDF. As the crop matures, NDF increases. With the pre-cut test, we would like to see 40 to 42% NDF in the grass. Number six, nitrates. As April has been very cold, nitrogen uptakes have been very poor. And with rain forecast, you can see a lush uptake of nitrogen, so it is very important to test for nitrates in the pre-cut testing. High nitrate levels buffer the crop, preventing efficient fermentation. So we would like to see levels of less than 1,000 milligrams per kilogram uh, fresh weight. In order to maximise silage quality, we need to pay close attention to the parameters as discussed by Pat. We have gone through a lot of silage samples from last winter and in association with the Cork Holistine Friesian Club and their members, we have discussed how silage was made last year and what can be improved. When we were looking at our silage analysis, we have understood that every week past mid-May, we are losing three units of D-value by not cutting our silage on time. To start with mowing, we have come to understand that it is critical to make sure that the silage is mowed on time. Typically, we'd prefer if it is done afternoon in order to maximise the amount of sugars that can be uptaken at that time. The other thing to make sure is that the mower is set at the correct height to avoid soil contamination. It has become evident recently that ash levels in silage are increasing and it is, it is a worrying effect going forward. Ideally, silage should be cut between 6 to 10 centimetres. This allows for maximum quality in the silage, but also it ensures that you have minimum contamination and also when you're cutting above the growing point that your regrowth for the second cut will come along a lot faster. It is advisable to tet out within a few hours after mowing or else condition out to full width in order to increase the dry matter. Depending on the yield of the crop, it is important to monitor the silage when it is on the ground before ensiling. This is essential in our, to ensure that dry matter doesn't go too high. Um, ideally, to have 0% effluent, we should have 30% dry matter. As Pat mentioned, it is important to ensile the silage within 24 hours of mowing. The clamp should be cleaned out and any porous walls should have wall sheets fitted at that stage. When packing the pit, it is critical to give the loader plenty of time to pack and layer the silage carefully, as inevitable silage can lead up to 20% of losses if done incorrectly. Covering the pit should be done as quickly as possible once packing has been completed. An oxygen barrier is also a good help to help the fermentation start quickly and can eliminate a lot more air from the clamp. Ensure that the sheeting is held down and well sealed. We Specialist Nutrition offer a range of uh, Magneva inoculants for crop and condition specific conditions. So we have three grass inoculants. We have Magneva Classic for ideal conditions up to 26% dry matter. We have Magneva Grass Wet for challenging conditions in wet conditions. And we have Magneva Grass Dry for high dry matter situations. The Magneva range offer a patented combination of bacteria such as Hilgardii and Lactobacillus bugneri plus enzymes which give a rapid fermentation and including opening pits in 15 days. In order to avail of our free pre-cut testing service and any advice that you need on silage making, please don't hesitate to contact us at Specialist Nutrition.
We would like to thank the Karl Karlstein Friesen Club for asking us to host this video. Thanks for watching.